Good morning, Los Angeles. This is your wake-up call. Hi, I'm Bill Plasky, sports columnist, Los Angeles Times, and I know you missed me three days without the wake-up call, but we're back in three things that happened in L.A. sports this weekend. Number one, UCLA football. Good news, bad news, good news. Josh Rosen, 351 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Great debut for the kid. I was out there at the Rose Bowl. I saw passes there that I haven't seen thrown in 10 years out there. Incredible debut for Josh Rosen in the victory over Virginia. Bad news is defensive tackle Eddie Vanderdose injured in the game out for the season that's a huge loss for the Bruin defense best wishes to the kid the second thing that happened USC football big win over Arkansas State but kind of a sloppy win five sacks for Cody Kessler he overthrew some receivers you know it seemed like they were they won the game they won it easily but I think they probably want to win the next one against Idaho a little more cleanly before Stanford comes in town the third bit of news is the Dodgers just keep rolling along now it's all about magic numbers it's all about clinching the division it's going to happen very soon here. Biggest concern now is Yasmani Grandal has more of the shoulder injury. They need to sit him down and rest him. He's been huge at catcher for them. A huge piece in the trade for Matt Kemp. They need him in the postseason. Hopefully they'll give Clayton Kershaw the rest he needs. Clayton Kershaw pitches tonight in Anaheim. I think they should slow him down a little bit. All eyes are on October. Plus it looks like they would probably be playing the New York Mets. And wouldn't you know if the Mets have an ace, Matt Harvey, who came out last week and said he wasn't sure he wanted the pitch in the playoffs because he didn't want to go over his inning count. Now he says he does. But there's turmoil in New York. So it's all looking good for the Dodgers. All looking good for LA sports this weekend on a great Labor Day weekend. Have a great day. You can reach us at latimes.com. Reach me at Twitter at Bill Plasky.